How you doing, Box Truck family? I just wanted to come on just to talk a little bit, you know? Can't talk about too much of nothing. I'm just getting started in the game. I did about nine months worth of research before I started box trucking. But what I found out is it's money in here to be made, but it's better to come in when you really fully prepared because it gives you a, a better advantage at being successful with your trucking company. Coming in here, just head first on your last dime, that shit ain't cool at all, you hear me? I realized I ain't came here my last dime, but I was damn near in my last dime. I had $10,000 left after I started the company and um, to get all my equipment and everything. But what I want to say, this is very much attainable, but the goal is, guys, I'm being honest with y'all, renting a vehicle is putting a strain on, on my company, what I'm trying to succeed at, uh, what I'm trying to do, especially with um, ride or truck. I, I, I tell y'all guys, if y'all see this, don't rent with Ryder or Penske. You know, I pay $1,800 a week deposit and they take the $1,800 a week, $5.95 a, $5 a week truck rental, 13 cents a mile. So you got to put an $1,800 deposit down and it's $595 a week, 13 cents a mile. So they deduct that money out of the $1,800 deposit, which, which is understandable, but it ties up a lot of my money, almost $2,000 every week. So I'm in, a, I'm in the whole process of trying to do something different, trying to find something different, just something that makes sense. Because I started this company, this box truck company, to... Uh, so I can work for myself. I ain't start a company to, to, to work for somebody else. And when you rent these trucks at these high rates and high prices, that's basically what you're doing. You working for somebody else to pay their truck. And I understand like typically, if you run a business, you start a business, half of your business going, half of your money of your business going to go on on your company. That's, that's how typically it works. Almost half of your money going on your company, but when almost half of your money going on something else and leaving your company, that's when you gotta make a decision. So yeah, I just want to say that, man. I'm 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 trucking. I love it. It's good money, but it's better money if you owning your own truck or whatever. You hear me? So that's all I wanted to say, guys. Just keep trucking. Y'all got any questions or anything? Hit me up, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I'm new to this, so anything helps, guys. Just trying to do this with In the two miles, truck. take the US 290 West exit toward Austin. Yeah, so just trying to help some guys out. Helps anybody out. Because I know how I was. I was on here searching for all type of answers. I was doing research on all kind of people and what they do. And a lot of people sell you dreams. Oh, come on in. You can make 50000 yeah, and it's cool. You can make a lot of money doing this, but you gotta be smart. You gotta understand logistics. You gotta understand how to, you know, just how to run this. You can't just come in here and just make that money just like that. You gotta be very well knowledgeable, have very well much knowledge about this just to come in and make money, guys. So, yeah, so that's what I was, just wanted to say, man. But yo, like I said, guys, I love trucking. I'm new to this. I'm learning how to do this. So if y'all have any questions, hit me up in the comments. I'll get back up to you because as you see, I'm new. And like I said, my mom always told me, guys, when you talked about, you thought about. Peace.